We got something new in the mail today, Floppy Catters. Got this on Amazon Prime. And these actually, oh, a ragdoll cat breeder in California suggested these in an email recently to me. So I thought I'd order them because they're relatively inexpensive. They're for cat hair removal. And it says sofa cleaner brush. So let's try it out because this is where Chiggy likes to sit. So there's plenty of cat hair to try it on. Okay, so they're just like um, a silicone type rubber with nubs on it. And then it has a plastic insert in this inside. I wonder if you're supposed to keep that on or not. You see, I'm bad at it. Oh, it does a pretty good job. I think I might still like our Lily brush more. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I think I do. I scared him off, but that'll help us. It might work on different fabrics that, that like the lily brush doesn't work on, so that's pretty good. I mean, that's not, and Charlie's going after the adhesive on the packaging. Since I'm right here, I'll let him do that, but if I wasn't around, I wouldn't leave that down for him to do that with. Yeah, but see, it, I had an ex-boyfriend that always said, yeah, but live in the woods when you say, yeah, but. So it's decent, however, it's leaving these extra hairs all over the place. Whereas with the lily brush, it almost is like the lily brush doesn't ingrain the hairs into the fabric, whereas this was like ingraining it. Does that make sense? Like the lily brush kept the, the hair on top of the sofa, whereas this one seems to might have ingrained it more. This one is called a pet wedge. So even though this was an unboxing video for these two guys, I'm gonna show you my other hair removal tools for furniture. So this is my preferred one for sure. This one can work well on like tighter spaces. So this isn't really a tight space, but it had some hair on it so you can see. But the problem with this one, I don't know if I said it, it's called a pet wedge. The problem with this one is you have to like individually pick off the hair after you've gotten it off. So it's like double the work because it takes so long to get it off. Whereas it's pretty easy to pull it off the lily brush, like no problem. Let's see. I like this one for like nooks and crannies because it's hard to get the lily brush into nooks and crannies. and it will get all of that stuff off. And it's also really good for like Chiggy's pet bed because it's, it's concave, so it's an odd shape. And I can just go around it really fast and get it all off. And it always, always has more hair on it than I'm expecting it to. So those are those three cat hair removal toy um, tools. I was gonna say toys, they can be toys too if you want, depending on how much fun you have cleaning up cat hair. I prefer these two. I probably, I mean, I don't think, I don't know if I'll return these, but I might, I might not keep them. So I will include links to all three of these in the about section below. And then you can obviously decide what works for your house. It sometimes just depends on the furniture. It depends on the cat hair. Sometimes these will work for long haired cats, but short haired cats, they might not work for, I don't know. So you just sometimes have to experiment and figure out what will work for you. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. And if you have a favorite cat hair removal tool, please leave your comment below. Thanks. Bye.